What's up everyone? Welcome to our video. It's Tin here from Tutorials Hub. Now in today's video, I'm going to compare uh, GitHub Copilot versus Windsurf Editor by Codium. Now I've used both of these softwares, uh, or not softwares, but code editors, code assistants, AI code assistants, and I can clearly see the flaws in each and one of those. Now, um, keep in mind, this is just my personal experience using those tools. But if you want to know, you know, which tool is uh, the best one, then stick around and until the end of the video. So uh, we have GitHub Copilot, right? This is powered by OpenAI Codex and is deeply integrated into GitHub and VS Code. So if you're looking to uh, have a good integration with GitHub and VS Code, this is probably the best AI editor you can get. Now, in terms of the uh, code auto completion, it has strong code auto completion, suggestions, and inline help. Uh, also works well with uh, mainstream languages like you know JavaScript, Python, uh, you know stuff like that. Um, so you can use it with you know multiple different languages, which is great. The UI itself looks really clean, right? Um, now obviously with the GitHub Copilot, you can integrate it into VS Code. So it looks, uh, you know, similar to VS Code. Um, it's great for rapid prototyping and uh, improving the workflow efficiency. Uh, it's definitely great at that. Now in terms of, um, you know, in terms of the cons, right? This is, these are the pros, but what are the cons? The cons are sometimes it can generate incorrect or insecure code, which with most AI uh, code editors, that's the case. And it's, uh, yeah, it's actually very bad, but uh, that's where you can understand or that's where your understanding of code needs to come in and you need to understand, okay, this code is wrong. This code is not wrong. I want to uh, replace this code with that one, right? And stuff like that. So it's really not as strong for high level architectural guidance, right? So if you want to build some bigger projects, it's not really that great. However, for medium sized projects, small to medium sized projects, I would say it's good and it could uh, be better, right? Now, in terms of the pricing, obviously the pricing uh, comes in at $0 per month, which is great, right? Just like as Windsor has uh, its pricing at $3, uh, at $0 per month, which is free, right? Um, in terms of that, you also have $4 per month per user per month, which is 14. And here you get access to, you know, GitHub code spaces, protected branches, uh, code owners. Again, this is more so for a team. So if you have like an indie team, uh, then probably, you know, GitHub Copilot would be good choice because of the GitHub um, integration. But that's for the GitHub, right? In terms of the Windsurf, um, I've tried Windsurf. Uh, in different uh, occasions. And I gotta say it aims to be like an AI software engineer, not just like an autocomplete tool, right? So um, as you can see, here's just like uh, a couple of things how Winds uh, Windsurf really works, but uh, it can generate complete functions, tests and documentations, which is really great. Um, also, it supports interactive debugging and AI driven code improvement. So in my opinion, uh, Windsurf was better for me personally. Also, it has better end-to-end uh, -end development uh, tasks. So if you wanna do end-to-end -end development tasks, uh, Windsurf is much better at that. Um, so, you know, the complex tasks, so it's not just code snippets. Um, so those are kind of the things that I would say are good uh, in terms of the Windsurf. Now, obviously Windsurf has the uh, AI chat embedded inside, which, you know, everyone knows about that already. Uh, but overall, I would say, uh, you know, it's newer, Windsurf is newer. So there may have been some limitations in accuracy and adoption again, just like with GitHub Copilot, sometimes it will write wrong code and you will need to reprompt it again and again and again until the prompt is actually correct. So I would say in terms of Windsurf, uh, that could be the case, but me personally, I saw less coding mistakes and less code errors in Windsurf than in GitHub Copilot. Maybe it's just me, but yeah, that's what I saw. Also, it's less integrated with GitHub compared to Copilot. So if you want to have integration with GitHub, then GitHub Copilot might be a better option for you. So um, yeah, in terms of pricing, again, it starts at $10 per month. It's uh, for pro. It has better pricing than GitHub, in my opinion. 
because you can get pretty much the enterprise GitHub uh, type of uh, features for pretty much like $10, uh, $10 per month. Now, obviously, if you want Pro Ultimate, which is another level, it's $60 per month. So overall, what I would say about these two, I would say if you need a coding assistant to speed up your development and improve productivity within your IDE, I would say GitHub Copilot is a better choice. Uh, so again, you know, small to medium sized projects, if you want just a coding assistant to speed up, you know, uh, though that development, and if you're already a coder, I would say that is a good choice, GitHub Copilot. On the other hand, I would say uh, Codium Windsurf is uh, much better if you want an AI tool that helps with more advanced software engineering tasks. So yeah, there Windsurf AI could be more useful. Also for bigger projects, I would say it's much better. Um, but yeah, overall, you know, I would say this is again, you know, based on your uh, based on your choice and what you want to do. Again, I like Windsurf UI a bit better. And I like how everything is positioned and organized as well. And uh, yeah, it just, you know, more like a software uh, AI software engineer, right? So uh, again, it's kind of like having an a, a software engineer on a paycheck, but you have Windsurf. So yeah, so those two are kind of, um, this is kind of the comparison. Uh, I hope I kind of covered everything. If you have any comments or questions, comment below and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.